Hey guys, Burning Dog Face here. I just wanted to start this episode off properly, and, uh, well, acknowledge the fact that, uh, because my calendar doesn't mark, uh, any but the most major holidays, I had actually forgotten about it, uh, in advance, and therefore did not acknowledge it in the actual videos that came out on the day. But, uh, Monday the 9th was, uh, Canadian Thanksgiving. So, I, uh, would like to wish a very happy day, even if belatedly, to my fellow Canucks, and hope that you had a very lovely Thanksgiving. Just like I did. Welcome back to Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. We're here in, uh... Well, we're here in the Shadowlands, where everything is crappy all the time. Let's be perfectly frank about that. I mean, just looking at the lighting here, it feels like the sun hasn't touched the ground in this region in, like, a hundred years. Although that does raise the question of where all this grass came from, assuming that is grass. But, uh, more important than the grass, last time we unlocked not one, but two new classes. The Cheatastic Monk, and the Slippery Rogue. How fantastic. Well, I suppose, as I look at that giant skeletal hand growing out of the ground like a tree, I think to myself, yeah, Justin is right. We a shout out to Justin Jones as well, who says, as many grim and fucked up things that are present in the game, i.e. anything to do with the calamity, all of that is offset by the pervading silliness. I'm just gonna head up here and examine that area because, well, it needs to get done, that's why. Aha! Done. Fucking armor. Oh, those shield buff guys really annoy me. There we go, Fits of Fury to take out those hands. It doesn't even sound like an attack. I guess technically he isn't making physical contact, so it wouldn't sound like a punch. Things are kind of miserable just here. Do you mind? This is the first class in a game, I think, where you have to actually hit it quickly in order to make a combo happen. It's very interesting to me. life of me recall what it was. I'm just gonna open these chests and try not to worry about it. Read, try not to fixate on it. Mmm, a hundred dollars. Mmm, sixty-two more dollars. Oh, there was a blue token in there. Uh, there was something about that in here, wasn't there? Yes! Shout out to Mr. Nobody, appropriately enough, who says, Hi, I have a question. I upgraded some skills of the blue tokens too fast. Now it seems I'm unable to complete some quests, for example, uh, sorry, to, to complete some quests to upgrade tier from B to A for a magician, for example. What can I do not to start over? Uh, and Torek00 has replied, it looks like you get tokens from enemies occasionally, but also at the end of dungeons. Can you redo non-storyline dungeons? Maybe that'll give you the tokens you need. I don't know about that. I can check into that. Uh, as soon as I find a fast travel point, but still back down here. But yes, uh, I think I get what you're getting at, that you upgraded things and you're, you feel like the ones you need to complete the quests are too weak now. Uh, I don't know if you can get them refunded, but uh, yeah, they do occasionally drop from enemies and chests and stuff. So worst case scenario, and, and since you don't earn pro proper experience for uh, you know beating bad guys, 
uh, other than like the infinite quests, I mean. Uh. Well, I do feel like, like worst case scenario, you could grind out the tokens. Not sure what to recommend specifically other than that. Let's see. Hit three baddies with one charge fan of knives. Pick up money while an ability while an ability is on cooldown. Hold to stay cloaked. Release two dagger dagger baddies after staying cloaked for one second. I haven't even pushed that yet, have I? Oh fuck! That worked perfectly! Damn it! Ha! Ah, that went through three guys. I tried Cloak and Dagger there, and not only did they not trigger until I decloaked, they, uh, it did like two thirds of the, uh, no, three quarters of that guy's health when I stabbed him from behind. I also really liked it, rather than just fading out of view, you see a cloak drape over him. Very dramatic. Well, then he does fade from view, but, you know, that's a transition animation anyway. Oh, there's a fa fairy up there. Oh, hey, lots of hands up here, too, and some exploding guys. Monk! Suck my cheese! Oh fuck, oh fuck! Right! Monks don't wear armor! But in D&D, if you have a high enough dexterity score, it doesn't matter that you're not wearing armor. into that. What even are those? The projectiles that come off of the special uh, rock, uh, cannon guys' uh, projectiles. They look like spikes or teeth or something. I really like the slow walk he does when you're charging up this. With his fingers all steepled right in front of his heart and his eyes closed with concentration. Like, I don't think I would interrupt this guy if I saw him strolling down the street like this. I mean, it helps that with his arms tensed like that, he's really giving us two tickets to the gun show. There's a sign- I just got pulled over here, I did not do that uh, myself. There's a sign here, it says, Welcome, numeral two, the pit of death, all caps, SCRUB. PPL who mess with the dragon ruler get thrown in HERE! If they last 60 seconds, they get let go. But no one has, and no one will! Want to try? Then you must want to die. Dragon Ruler's Gang. Quest discovered, Stupid Signs Challenge. Last 60 seconds in the pit of death. Where did I put Ghost? That's a joke, I don't think I could do that. Oh! Don't go past that gate. I, I, th I thought, uh, for some reason, I thought I would stand here and this would be a trap door and I would literally fall into a pit. But no, no, it's just another combat door. Let's walk away. Oh, that's right, I went up towards the ferry and there was a million guys there, I forgot. Why, hello there. Hey there! Have a free mana upgrade! Thank you, Pinkolino. Watch it turn out that was just water with blue food coloring and the real magic was inside me all along. Wait! I'm Nostromagus! The real magic is inside me! Don't like this. Why don't we go over here instead? I was 
really, really worried that that guy's uh, heat-seeking banana would actually go around the corner. Knives for everyone! Man, old one eye would be really proud of me. There. Now I've gotten uh, progress in all of the rogue quests. Infinite quest, get health complete, pick up health items. Delicious. Man, that performance of the knives was pretty good, if I do say so myself. Old one eye would be very proud. Did I say that already? I think I might have. Whatever. Well, then he'd be double proud. I mean, I'm basically cosplaying a, a, a skinny version of him at this point. If I could get the, uh, the bodybuilder to dress like the rogue, that would be pretty good. I suppose old one eye could just be fat. Oh, right, it has to be after one second and everything. Hmm. Uh, the cloak and dagger thing, I mean. No, not everything gets the huge bonus. Just, just a slap does. My bad. Ah, oh, that's a lot of guys. Touch these hands, bitch. My oh boy. Okay, that's good to know. When the monk is charging and attacking, he moves way slower than fire. Oh joy, back to the corpse guard. Oh, while I'm here, I can check on that uh, dungeon. I did beat this one, so I should have the uh, the portal open. I do not. Fuck. Oh, and this is the form locked one. Maybe it'll be easier if I go somewhere else. Oh, right. Huh. I just remembered that... Well, A, I'm a million miles away. Well, I guess I'm not a million miles away. Fine. From uh, the fast travel points. Fine, fine, fine. Horse, indeed. Your banana rangs have no effect on me, for I am too fast. Uh. The Tower of Atonement was level thirty-seven. I thought I did it more, much more recently than that. Recently, no. I thought I did it much longer ago than that, I mean. What? The horse mines are level 37? Are those leveling up with me even after I beat them? Everything here is terrified of me. There he is. Uh, sorry, sorry. Horse mines. Okay, so I do actually have to keep going, but since I'm, uh... Several levels, uh, too powerful here, this shouldn't be too bad a problem. <laughs> Oh, right, the chests replenish themselves. Quest complete, open chests. The Naruto running is still very funny to me. 
kind of surprised it's not like a ninja class or anything, though. I mean, it would have been really easy to make the rogue into a ninja. I'm just saying. Oh, good. I can't get over there. Go around. See, I remembered this thing. I'm capable of that. Wade right through these fuckers. Oh, that's my lightning bolt. Yes, yes, good. But enough of lightning bolts. Second there, when it broke the thing behind me, I thought it knocked my head off? I don't know if that's how those are born. The vomity skulls. We haven't seen those guys in a while. Even these guys have shown up more recently, and for some reason the cats are still persistent. Imagine if there was a bestiary in this game and they had to explain all this crazy bullshit. What possible context could you put on the cat mages? As handsome as they are evil! Did they write this? Oh! What game was it where the bad guy literally did write the bios? Oh, uh, yes, yes! Uh, I didn't actually play this, I heard about this. It was Far Cry 4, where, uh... The guidebook takes the form of, like, a propaganda book published by your enemies. So it talks about, like, the dictator as being this glorious leader of men who everyone loves, and your uh, rebel group as being dirty terrorists who are only in it for the money. Or something to that effect. Again, haven't played it, so I might be completely out to launch, or in fact, thinking of a different game. I don't know if you noticed, but because I'm, uh, continuously spamming the buttons... Technically, I did that wave with my eyes closed. <laughs> See, it looks like the monk is just showing off. Monks can still use bows and arrows, don't look at me like that. Oh, it's a big old chest. Oh, sick. The ability's still on cooldown. Almost there. If they do a sequel to this game where you play any other character, they need to make Nostrad Magus an NPC, and they need to put the stallion on his property somewhere. Is that your horse? Well, not mine, per se, but some of the time. How do you fucking like it? Dee Dee was the zombie. Oh, I see! That's extra annoying. Ah, that's a solution. Oh, I can't throw diagonally! Or go past that. Knives! Knives! Not shown the 25 minutes he spends after every fight picking up on the knives. I just wanted to remind
remind myself that I could do that just because it makes me feel insanely powerful. I mean, trust me on this. Oh, I thought he reared back when I did that. But... Or she, I guess. I didn't even touch that one. I wasn't anywhere near that. It was really enthusiastic. Uh, Monk. There's uh, the second slot on him yet? No. Oh, they are all empty! Jesus, I thought they were darker. That's embarrassing. <clears throat> uh, bravado, uh... We just don't have any crazy ones yet. Um... Oh, yeah, okay, impact damage, sure, sure. Uh, zom nom nom, maybe? Spooky. Spooky would be funny for the monk. His fists are terrifying! Ah, fuck it, I don't know, money. Oh, and... No, 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 wait, the fastest way to do that is to actually be the guy. I'm not actually sure how to do it otherwise. Smite team is pretty generally useful, actually. Okay, yeah, poison, because he's a rogue... And... Oh, yeah! Money Magnet, of course! Because those are the other thing. Duh. Um... Sure, let's put Dodge on that. That seems appropriate for this guy. Was that the timer? That was the timer. But I can find out if the chest will have the tokens in it. <laughs> Excuse me, help me. Not the, the Far Cry thing, something else that I didn't vo vocalize. It was, uh... No, the chest did come back. How about that? Oh, but it just had money in it, not tokens. Well, sorry to, the, to Mr. Nobody, it seems that uh, you will have to get them from enemies after all, or chests you haven't found yet. Uh, best of luck with that. Uh, hopefully you won't have to start over. I find the form quest to be frustrating myself sometimes. Oh, but at least I got uh, the infinite quest for baddies. Killed. Many. Almost to 45. Excellent. And now, of course, since we're here... What's up, handsome? <laughs> In his embrace, the world's troubles almost disappear. Oh shit, it's nobody! Run! In fairness, I am 19 levels higher than them. And you don't have to be good at math to be able to work that out. <laughs> oh yeah, good, good. That uh, The fungus in the castle is well on its way to rotting. I'm surprised that chunk hasn't fallen off yet. Note to self, do not walk under there anymore. Why do my subjects like having their houses covered in fungus? Oh, it's not an aesthetic choice. Well, someone should do something about it! Oh, yeah! It's growing on all the buildings in town now. Oh, except this one. The one that's filled with bunnies.
Oh, wow, I remember this guy. I hope Nostromagus comes soon, but if he doesn't, my bunnies will protect me, and now I realize they look exactly like the ones summoned by the Magician. Huh. Okay, yeah, I don't mess with this man. I'm not even gonna break his pots. Oh, right, peahens are plain-looking. They also don't have big tail fans, actually. Like, of any kind. Not just in boring colors. You're not from here, are you? Okay, this is enough. Uh, I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Nobody Saves the World. Uh, till then, hope you have a great day. Later!